on guys it's king touch pro and welcome back to another final cut pro 10 tutorial in today's tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to replicate or kind of how to create a sliding glitch text effect and i did this idea from of course the infamous logan paul and jake paul uh video right here the rise of the pauls because i did get this video requested now I did get the video requested on how to do the color grading and all of these random effects however I'm gonna save that for a different video because I really like the text effect right here and there isn't really that much Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials covering the text glitch effect if you want to call it that and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the effect right now so you guys can see what I mean so let me go ahead and push play so it's very fast very quick I'm gonna play it one more time so it just slides right through each of the uh, text right there. It just kind of swivels back and forth and then it just leaves the screen just like I did in this video here. Uh, I did not shoot this video, however, I did get it from YouTube and the audio is from the music video itself. Just a small clip to show you guys what it'd look like if you were to do this same effect. So I'm going to push play. Now I did this all without any plugins. Everything is done in Final Cut Pro 10. So let me go and show you guys how to do it right now. All right guys, so what I did to do this effect is I use draw masks and I replicated the text. So they kind of overlap each other in a way, but they're actually being hidden behind the actual um, layer as you can see. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and I'm gonna keep everything how it is. Let's say you have your video and your music ready to go and uh, I'm going to just show you what to do from here. So I'm going to go ahead and reset everything. So you have your text right here. Now the text that I used was uh, Helvetica New. I think that's how you say the font and bold. And I made this kind of kind of big to kind of fill in the video there. And I added a drop shadow as well. So if you go to the drop shadow right here and you enable it by clicking that little check mark, you go to show and then you go down and just kind of increase these values here, increasing the blur, the opacity and stuff like that. So just mess around with that once you have the text looking how you guys want it. Now the only thing we need to do is of course add the glitch. So it really depends where, it really honestly doesn't matter where you put the the actual glitch but it makes more sense if you kind of follow the music or the sound or audio that is being uh, played in your project so let's say you have a really cool drop that's gonna happen you want to go ahead and do it a little bit before the drop and then when the drop actually hits you want to go ahead and make the text disappear from the video and have the video playing on from there so if that makes any sense then we're on the same page we're good to go so once you have your text right here what you want to go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and add a draw mask okay now before we actually do this we want to go ahead and make a copy of the text so select it press command C and go to the beginning and press command V to paste it in the very beginning of that uh, video there so now we have two copies of the same one so I'm gonna go ahead and go right where I left off so right here is where I want it to start so I'm gonna go with the first text on top and I'm gonna go to the effects and then and then from the effects I'm gonna go ahead and type in mask click on the draw mask and drag that onto your video and as well as the second one and we're pretty much done with the effects there we don't really need that anymore and we're gonna be working with keyframes Yay, keyframing. Everyone loves keyframing, right? So uh, we have the text there, and now we have our draw mask and the little pen tool here. And it says to click to add a control point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and select half of the text here. Now, you should have the first one selected, but you're not going to notice anything because the layer below it is enabled. And it's just going to look like there's nothing happening. But you'll see in a little bit that something's going to change. Go ahead and click and kind of make it as straight as you can. What I would suggest you guys do is hold shift and click and now we'll go ahead and select half of it. But what I would recommend is go a little bit less, like maybe a third and then hold shift and then do it that way. Um, maybe that will look better. I don't know. It just kind of makes it more random. So finish off that path there. Now, once you're finished with that, what you want to go ahead and do is go to the uh, the effects here in this one in this little window here where you can see the draw mask disable the top portion of this and then we're gonna go ahead and add another control point here so I'm gonna go ahead and click and kind of select the middle here and that looks pretty good so now you can see that there's something going on here now I don't think this was straight to me so I'm gonna hold shift there we go now it's straight so make sure that the line is perfect so now you can see 
that there is half and half. That's why I disabled the other one. Now, when you enable both of them, you might not have got both of them aligned perfectly, but that's totally fine. Go ahead and select any of the text. It doesn't really matter which one. Go ahead and select it. And with the move tool, it's going to kind of move like this. So click and drag that down until you kind of see so it doesn't overlap. Now, you want to kind of do it right here. What I would do is I would disable. So press V on your keyboard as you have the first text selected. And then kind of, whoops, you want to go ahead and do it so it aligns up perfectly with the other text. That way you don't have a weird gap in between the letters. And you want to go ahead and do the same thing with the rest. So right there now if you don't if you can't tell what you want to go ahead and do is just make it full screen and then if you see a gap let me go ahead and disable the audio if you see a gap like that that means it's not perfectly aligned and you want to go ahead and fix it so be sure to do that or else it's not going to look right so let me see if i fixed it there you go now it looks good so i hope you guys kind of understand what I'm trying to trying to point out here. So we're pretty much good here. Now we have to add the actual glitch effect. Now we're going to add a couple of keyframes. So to do that, it's pretty easy. It's not that hard, guys. You have your point here. Now what I would do is add a marker just in case you forget like I do. So you can quickly go back to where you left off. And we have the first text selected here and we have the other option selected. Now, you won't see anything happening because if we go down in the video settings here where you can see the draw masks, go down and you should have the transform option and if it's hidden, go ahead and click on show and then in the scale option, or not in the scale option, in the position, you should be able to slide the text and you can see that now you're starting to see kind of like a glitch effect. Now, we have to add a couple of keyframes, maybe six keyframes would be good in six uh, frames. So what we want to go ahead and do is go to the add keyframe first. Once you add your freeze keyframe, click in this box and then move your cursor to the right one frame over. Then once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and click on the X axis and drag that either left or right. Make sure that the text goes off the screen or else it doesn't look good and it doesn't look like the actual Logan Paul. And if you're having now, I would suggest getting so it's not like this because then it's going to be very complicated. So maybe something like this would be good. Now, once you're done with that, make sure you click back because sometimes you can leave the spot and it messes you up. So once you're done with that, go one frame over again and then just go back and forth just like that. So click back in here and go right and then just click and drag up, you know, just click and drag this up or down to go to either side and just keep doing that until you get to about six or eight frames see what I mean so click in here and then go one frame over and make sure that you're actually doing it right so hover over your mouse before you keep going because you might mess up the whole entire order so it's going right so now I'm gonna go ahead and go let's see now I'm gonna go left on here let me see yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and click and move left and whoops let me undo that so we have something like this and I'm also going to go ahead and get rid of the audio just for now. So we have something like this, but we still need to do more keyframes. So one, two, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, five, and then let's keep going. So six and then seven. And then on the eighth one, we're going to go ahead and have the whole text disappear by dragging the position all the way off until you can't see the text on the screen so now you should see something like that really quickly now it doesn't look right because of the bottom we still need to do the same thing for the bottom so i'm going to go ahead and click on the bottom text because we haven't done anything there go to the effects go to the draw mask where you can see everything go to the transform panel same thing like we did it uh before but we're going to do the opposite so they're not going the same if they're going the same direction it's not going to look right so they have to go the opposite ways so go to the transform go to the position okay and make sure you have the same marker that's the reason why i added a marker and go to the position add the first one then go ahead and click and go one frame to the right now i'm not moving the the actual top letter because i'm actually on the bottom text but if that confuses you, be sure to, you know, disable it for now. But honestly, that's very crucial to having it on so you guys know what position to go. So since it's going to the right, we're going to go ahead and move to the left. So go to the X position again and drag that to the left. 
Now we're gonna go ahead and go one frame over and move this off the screen to the right and just keep doing that until you kind of have like a good medium in between. So keep going just like that and just back and forth and then have the whole text come off. So now we should have something that will look like that. So it's very, very quickly, guys, like I said. And if you guys don't want it to go that fast, what you guys can do is instead of going one frame over, like one frame each, you guys can do like um, two frames and then, you know, do another two frames, another two frames instead of just one frame. So if you guys don't know what I mean, so we have one frame and we go one frame. See how there's a difference uh, in one frame? What you guys want to do, if you want to make it go slower, just skip uh, one frame and go to the go to the second frame and then add a keyframe and then add a keyframe, add a keyframe and stuff like that. So if that makes any sense to you guys, then you guys are on the right path and we're pretty much good to go. So once we're pretty much finished with that, all we have to do is just add our music and then we should have something that will look like this. So, of course, I only used a small portion of it because I don't want to get copyrighted or anything like that. But that is pretty much the Logan Paul slash the Rise of the Pauls text or text glitch slide effect, whatever you guys want to call it. And we're going to watch this one more time. So, if you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a like, comment down what you guys want to see next, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.